Hello, good morning everybody. This is Jan Pathan Puthor. I'm in my garden and this is my show, English in the Garden. This is my band, English in the Garden. I'm in my garden this Saturday uh, morning. This is the 29th of February, the last day of the month of the year 2020. I'm in my garden as I told you and with me, you know, I have some tea and some flowers and and of course a book. This one is a big one, over 500 pages uh, and the title of it is Doubt, D-O-U-B-T, Doubt, written by an accomplished historian and an award-winning poet by the name of Jennifer Michael H. This is uh, what she looks like. Jennifer Michael H. And she's an award-winning poet and the book is called Down. It's about different uh, stories of, you know, doubters, the people who doubt uh, establish uh, truths of the establishment. For example, Lord Buddha uh, is addressed, is uh, treated here as a great doubter of the ancient town uh, himself. And it's a history of doubt. In order to have doubt, you need to encounter a set of beliefs or some uh, dominant ideologies and then you, you know, cast some doubt on the validity and the truth behind the, you know, the facts behind the claims and this is very important and you do yourself a big favor if you uh, do a bit of reading and, you know, asking yourself questions or asking other people questions you know, to cast some doubt on something doesn't really mean that you disbelieve or disrespect. Is actually for me is about uh, giving due respect to those um, establishment, those the dominant ideologies, maybe a group, a group of individuals, and the faith as well. So. And I would like to mention here that in the age of digitization in the 21st century, we have to uh, deal with a lot of uh, information, data, stories, narratives, rumors, and even fake news or half-truth news. The information available online is just universal. It's like as big as anything that you can imagine and you cannot get worse I mean you're gonna have more and more news more and more uh, uh, information size so um, you need the ability to uh, to validate and to uh, check the facts behind that you know those claims and those the establishment so being a doubter as written here in a thick book like this uh, is a good way to live in the modern world especially in the 21st century because we cannot just consume the data and the information without being a doubter or a thinker uh, being able to doubt is the beginning of your investigation. Being a thinker is also very important and you have to train yourself to be a thinker in the, you know, digital world like this. Okay, this is my tea. Because this is Saturday, and it's a lovely day and I have a thick book to introduce to you. I'm 
reading it and I really enjoy you know flipping to and reading some of the um, stories the historical evidence as I'm reading this book I very much you know doubt the author's ability to really understand Lord Buddha for example I don't know much about other things but you know, I know something about Lord Buddha because I myself is a Buddhist. So I cast my doubt on her ability to doubt or to claim that Lord Buddha is a doubter. But, you know, this is the way of the world. You read and then you exercise your criticality. And I love the creativity of treating doubt as a, you know, as a subject, as a historical uh, science itself. Okay, this is Jan Pathan put on, and my show, as you know, is English in the Garden, and I'm addressing the issue of doubt. Sometimes it's a good idea to be a doubter. To be a believer is not easy. To be a doubter is harder. And but nonetheless, uh, you have to. If, if you don't have any doubt about anything, um, uh, I cannot say that you really understand. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later.